a Second World War pilot who's hit the headlines this week after he tried but failed to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire for the first time in years after a mix-up at a museum. We couldn't allow Eric Carter, who survived battles with the enemy with the Luftwaffe over the frozen skies of Russia, to fail in this latest mission. So what did we do? We sent Wing Commander John Sargent and gave him the order, get Carter back in the hot seat. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Carter was trained to fly hurricanes like this in North Wales. It was during the last stages of the Battle of Britain, but his first major assignment was to the northern Russian port of Murmansk, and that mission is still remembered in Russia today. Why were you sent to Murmansk? It was a hard time for Russia. Uh, Murmansk was the only place we could help them and uh, we were sent to keep Murmansk open at all costs. The port of Murmansk allowed crucial military supplies into Russia, so protecting it from German attack was vital. When you were flying an hurricane like this, were you frightened at the time? I can't say I was ever frightened. You were so busy looking around, see if there was any Germans on your tail. Yeah. Uh, that you didn't have time to be frightened. When you were young, you thought well, you were I immortal. Was, I was 20. <laughs> I didn't know what frightened was. I don't want to show off, but these are my medals. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So what have we got here? These are the Russian medals. And even after more than 60 years, their work has not been forgotten in Russia. The heroic deeds of the British servicemen and the help that was uh, delivered to the uh, Red Army during the uh, World War II will always be remembered and in, the, in our hearts and in our minds. Eric also managed to fit in time to sort out his private life. When you were training on these hurricanes, you met your wife, didn't you? I did indeed. A very nice girl, very beautiful girl. We were married for 62 years. Now, what about your honeymoon? I gather that was a bit, a bit well, truncated. The RAF was very generous. They gave me 48 hours to get married. <laughs> and my honeymoon was at Swindon. The, where they, uh, the sh railway shunting yards, <laughs> and I had uh, 24 hours in the hotel there. That was my honeymoon. That was your honeymoon. After the mission ended, Eric was sent back to the UK and was trained to fly a different fighter plane, the Spitfire. If you're going to fight, I'd prefer the Spitfire. It's faster, it's certainly more manoeuvrable. It was a grand machine. It's more than 60 years since Eric had to be ready to race across an airfield and jump into the cockpit of one of these marvellous machines. Now, finally, after all these years, he's got the chance to relive that moment. Well, there she is. What do you think seeing the Spitfire? It's absolutely beautiful. Let me help. Oops. That's bad. OK, now then, one foot up here. Now you low... Oh, well, well done. <laughs> In You're there. Start it up, I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> it brings back all the memories. It brings back sad memories, yes, it does. I lost a good many of my very close friends. But it also brings back uh, happy memories when we were, got the chance to do a bit of duck fighting between ourselves. Do you reckon you could fly it if I start the engine up for I you? I reckon I could. Really? If the Germans were behind me, I would. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And Eric's back in the hot seat. Yeah. Well done, Mr. Eric Carter. Thanks to everyone that helped us out with that film. Thank you very much indeed.